फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल ओबुंटू इन योर फिजिकल मशीन्स सो आई हैव आई हैव ऑलरेडी बुटेड माय पेन ड्राइव सो आई एम नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू डू सो फर्स्ट इन इंसर्टेड डेट यूएसबी एंड गोइंग टू रीस्टार्ट सिस्टम and press 12 because i have dell system so i'm going to press so it will uh, here you can see uh, boot option is, uh, came so here i have uh, efi usb path 1 sand disk so just press enter so now you can see here ubuntu install ubuntu or you can go through that live without installation you can go uh go to try ubuntu without installation here you can uh, no need to install so i am going to install ubuntu so just go through install ubuntu so once press ubuntu install ubuntu so now we'll see see ubuntu logo came Here I'm here. Uh, I'm going to install like uh, there's no any operating system like uh, Windows and any any other operating system. So only sing a standalone uh, Ubuntu I'm installing here. So here you can see um, that here you have to choose in uh, language whatever you want. So I'm going to choose English. So continue. Here it is asking for. uh network so i have uh, network like uh, uh, connect to network if if you want to connect then you can otherwise you can uh, skip this one so just uh, click here i don't want to connect uh, to a wifi network so here i have net connect to network so i'm doing this one because uh, when, uh, while installing this uh, ubuntu so it will ask for updation if supposed to any updation is there so it will uh, download and it will install automatically no need to install so it is just like uh, supposed to you down uh, you install uh, that ubuntu and again you will go to apt get uh, upgrade like that so be, uh, before that one i can do from here also while install during, uh, during the installation it will download the update and uh, whatever the uh, necess necessary um, driver or anything is there it will uh, install it will uh, download and it will, it will uh, upgrade so here i am going to just put my put my uh, wifi password so okay i just connected here here it is showing connection established okay so we can we can go to continue button here it is saying uh, download updates while installing ubuntu if supposed to i don't uh, do this one just remove connect see it is already connected with uh, wifi so it will uh, this option came download updates while installing ubuntu if uh, your uh, is network is not uh, uh, connected with your um, uh, laptop so this uh, this option won't come so here without uh, without clicking that one we can go through the continue so it is taking time so uh, here it you have erase ubuntu this one and reinstall here you will get option like uh, if you are you already installed uh, window 8 window any any version of uh, window so here already i have installed uh, ubuntu 16.04 in my uh, physical machine so again i am going to show you how to fresh installation in your uh, laptop so here you can just go through it erase ubuntu before uh, previous ubuntu and reinstall again if you want to install again uh, so it will uh, automatically it will uh, erase and uh, everything and it will install fresh one so no need to do anything just 
press here it will install automatically so here no need of any knowledge and anything so here second option is there like uh, ubuntu 16 along with this one so here suppose to you want to install uh, you already you have window 8 or window 10 or window 7 whatever you have so you want to uh, do dual boot so you want a window 8 window windows version and also ubuntu so he, here you can go with this one so just uh, press this one and you can just install now so it will along with that one it will install uh, just i'm showing you so here if you see so if you install this one press install button it will install uh, um, ubuntu along with that uh, um, what you call um, windows so uh, i am not going to this one you can uh, so many videos over uh, youtube so you can go with that one so here one again option is there erase disk and install ubuntu here it is like whatever uh, windows or the ubuntu or linux or whatever you have so it will erase everything on the disk and it will install fresh one so here if you go this one so what happen uh, when you install that one then it will ask uh, it will won't ask anything like it auto automatically it will uh, create partition like swap area ext root and home whatever it is so it will auto no need to do manually so here you can if you don't need uh, anything like uh, what uh, i don't know what uh, what how much uh, size for the root of swap whatever so it will automatically it will do for you so i'm not going with this one so i'm going with this one if you want if you know the area of uh, size of the uh, partition then you can go with this one like uh, i want to uh, increase or decrease the size of uh, swapping area and uh, uh, ext4 home page like that so i'm going with this one so here you can you will see so many partition came so i'm going to already see uh, e efi this is boot boot uh, partition this is a home partition where um, system going to install and this is swap swap area is nothing but uh, uh, this swap partition whatever the suppose uh, it is just like a, a ram so it will work with uh, just like a ram so i'm going to here i'm going to show you how to do fresh partition so just press here then it will ask for new partition so just press here it was asking you have a selected an entire device so i already have selected entire de uh, device and again i am going to install new one new partition i am going to create so here it is um free stage i have one tv see one tv i have one tv uh, hard disk so i am going to install here so just press here and uh, you will see size so 536 um 538 sorry 538 this 538 i am pressing this one because um i have uh, like boot option so where the uh, boot, uh, boot uh, partition will come so here efi press ok then beginner log primary just keep it logical press ok so it will create c efi this is for uh, bootable grab boot once and uh, here i'm going to create another one um like uh, i want to create for the uh, home page so like uh, home uh, home drive what do you call like uh, um, so here I'm uh, creating where where the uh, this uh, Ubuntu uh, OS going to install. So I'm keeping. Uh, um, so I'm going. Uh, I'm just uh, keeping creating uh, three zero. So I'm going to create for this partition three zero seven two zero zero. So this is the size of my uh, uh, home partition. Uh, so uh, you have to keep this uh, primaries so that uh, actually here uh, your uh, OS is going to install. So it should be primary, must be primary. So just press uh, um, root folder. This is a root folder. Press OK. 
and here still you have uh, free space so you can create with this one like uh, uh, keep it logical and uh, this is swiping so swiping how uh, how much you so here I'm here I'm going to uh, keep partition swipe partition like uh, 8 GB because I have 8 GB RAM so according to the uh, RAM only I'm going to do so I have already 8 GB uh, RAM in my uh, in my laptop so just I keeping 8000 8000 MB so here it going to choose swipe area it should be logical okay so okay see and uh, still I have uh, this much space so I am keeping this space for uh, future purpose so if suppose I want to install uh, I want to install windows or any other system or just uh, we can uh, create uh, drive later on I will show you how to do so here I already have created swap ext4 ext4 ext3 ext2 ext2 so these are the uh, mode so i am this is ext4 is the latest one so that's why i am going with ext4 so here we have to you have to install this ubuntu so press uh, that ext4 slash slash means root root folder so this is root folder so i am going to install this one so here see you can check uh, the partition table this is partition table so uh, this is ext4 swap and where uh, that system uh, operating system going to install and uh, this is swap so just press continue already it is uh, you can select your location where you uh, you used to live this is keyword and here you keep your name business my I'm keeping my computer name Dell I have Dell and uh, the password I have I'm any any password you can create so here I'm going uh, I'm pre, uh, keeping a short password so is your wish what uh, how much long you can you can create for, uh, for this so now it is going to install it will take uh, hardly 15 minutes to install Ubuntu so I'm just uh, uh, after installation I'll show you uh, how to do so I'm pausing this uh, video see system is getting installed So it is taking 3 minute 21 uh, for retrieving data. So I am just keeping pause. See I still 1 minute 33 second left. See I have 4 second, 3 second. Not. Here guys you can see downloading language pack because already I have enabled that uh, I, uh, my computer is already connected with uh, Wi-Fi so that's why it is connected so uh, this system needs uh, some language package so that's why it is downloading so this is only benefit so if you connect it with your uh, Wi-Fi or network so uh, LAN so uh, if it is connected with Wi-Fi or LAN so uh, if uh, any driver or any language needed for this uh, system so it, it will auto automatically it will download so it is downloading a language pack so I'm going to stop this video until it did not download it so let's see after some time so here yeah, still 2 minute 20 second left so uh, if uh, if you want uh, uh, enable this one uh, while installation uh, 
uh, if uh, you don't have Wi-Fi or LAN anything so you can continue with that one so uh, nothing will happen so later if you uh, after installation you can um, uh, up, up, you can update your uh, Ubuntu so it will all, same thing will happen uh, later on uh, when you after installation you will just uh, uh, write command like apt get uh, install uh, updation like that so I'm uh, just waiting for this one one uh, still 1.5 Four five second uh, minute left. So I'm just watching this video, guys. You can see I still I have 35, 34, 33 second. So I'm just waiting for completing this one. So now you can see preparing. Now again installation is going on. So if you uh, enable that Wi-Fi and uh, while the installation, uh, it will download some files. So it will take more time. So if you want to do, uh, you are in hurry like uh, installation uh, Ubuntu as much as as much as fast. So you can uh, just disable that one. No need to uh, connect with your Wi-Fi or network. So to see again, it is downloading package. So still again, it will take five minute to download, and again after installation, uh, it will take some time. So some uh, this is one uh, disadvantage, but the advantage is like uh, no need to again after installation if you go with uh, that apt get uh, update or updation. So that time uh, that installation won't come again. So it will again download another features. So again it is taking uh, four minutes. So I'm just pausing this video. Now see now it's running package. So installation is going on. So if if that uh, Wi-Fi is not enabled now, so it it won't take that much time. Till now, it uh, uh, installation got completed. So this is only like disadvantage for us guys. Like uh, if, uh, already I told. So it again will take some time. So I'm just pausing this video guys you can see now my installation got completed so now i'm going to restart my system so now i'm going to log in um, okay now i'm going to show you so how uh, what uh, how um, our uh, partition it was so before it was uh, I already set up so now first of all you have to go through uh, sudo you have to run in administrator mode sudo su you have to run command now you have, uh, you have to type a password whatever you clicked so here I'm going to show you if if disk here it will show the all the partition you have already done so here we have uh, sda1 yeah, now you can see here sd one sda2 sda3 so uh, this is swiping 7.5 gb 286 or uh, 300 uh, gb already i uh, allocated for this one this is bootable so see this is bootable efi system so if you want to uh, um, resize your partition so you have to first you have to download one um, um, one gui partition is there for linux so now i'm going to install this one so you have to type apt get install gparted So it should be run in administrator mode. So now it is downloading. You have to press yes. I want to. So it is downloading. Okay, on it downloaded so you have to uh, you have to run this uh, application so you have to you have to type uh, g parted uh, or if it is not administrator mode you have to type sudo g parted so now i'm going to run this so now you can see here it is 
uh, hda1 hda uh, hda tail whatever i show you before in uh, command prompt so here yeah, hda is now it is uh, already i un unlocated some uh, uh, gv so 637 gv is uh, still left so you can just uh, you can keep it new new partition you can as uh, as your purpose so what purpose you want just just like uh, in window save uh, window we have a uh, c drive d drive like c drive we have, uh, you install only uh, system and uh, d drive e drive f drive it is just like uh, a, a, a store uh, storing some files so same like that only i just uh, remove uh, i kept uh, free space this much so that in future we can uh, i can just uh, uh, keep partition some different party like 600 200 or 300 gb i can uh, allocate for some uh, storing some file and all so this is only uh, all uh, i want to show you so thanks